Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I am Scorpio Tiger. I am here to do the You Me We Love spread for the sign of Pisces. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I hope you guys got a chance to do your cleansing rituals last night with that full moon and the full strawberry moon in Sagittarius, which is a jovial moon. It's a, a very positive moon. And it, 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 was, it's, it was the best use for it was to rid yourself of any negativity, even if it was just by doing a small prayer, okay? That was a wonderful time to do it. You can still do it now if you want, you know? It ain't nothing wrong with it. Get rid of the negativity. Pray about it, you know? Um, but, yeah, so now, June June the 15th and 16th, we are now in the moon of Capricorn, which is all about business, them, that long-term goal, putting the work in to attain what it is that we want in the long term, like working on business plans and, and things of that nature, um, uh, strategic plans on how to save money to buy a car or house, long-term things, you know, writing a book, you know, working on that script, okay? Yeah, so Pisces... We're going to get into your love reading here. Um, and I've already shuffled the deck. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. And be, since this is a love reading, you can reverse the roles as needed, okay? Let's get into this. Can we get some energies for the Pisces Collective? How are they feeling towards love or their love mate at this time? Pisces Collective. What's going on with the Pisces? What's their energies towards love? Or towards their love mate. Okay. They're ready to put down the burdens. And move on to um, their happiness. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And they're thinking of creative ways with the page of wands. And, and to, to do that. Okay. Now let's get some energies from uh, Pisces love interest. Or the person that's coming towards Pisces. Okay. What's their energies? Wow. That was fast. Okay. Uh their their um that Pisces energy, <laughs> uh, they're thinking of which way should they go. They're like in 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 limbo about you. Let's get another energy for this uh love interest. Okay. Okay. Two Pisces cards. Wow. Um. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pisces and Scorpio. So Pisces, they are um. Think of putting an end to this and being single. And it looks like you're doing the same thing. Let's get some mutual energies. Yeah, because the tower's about uh, destruction, endings, transformations. Okay, so they might be, you know, really thinking to themselves, you know, I don't know if I really want to be here with that moon card, you know. They might be holding secrets back from me. Let's get some energy, some mutual energies for Pisces and their person. What's going on with Pisces and their person? The temperance in reverse. What's going on with the Pisces collective and their love interest? What is going on here? Thank you, the Empress. Let's get some more energies. We're going to get some more energies. Then we're going to get some clarifiers and, and delve into this. Okay, the Seven of Cups. Pisces Collective, a new person. Thank you. Five of Cups. And the Hermit. Can I get one more, please? Okay. That could be it. All right. So just looking at this, we got the Tempers in Reverse, the Empress, the Seven of Cups, um, the Five of Cups, and the Hermit, and the King of Cups. It looks like somebody is um, really going through it, you know, and they're feeling a lot of guilt. And the Wheel of Fortune, the universe is helping us move along to this ending. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Let's go to the Modern Witch Tarot and get some clarifiers. All right. The Temperance in Reverse. Why is this here for Pisces in the inner person? Now let's go look at this. Okay, 
that somebody may be healing from this um, King of Wands. They're healing and doing what they want to do. Let's take a look at this real quick. Temperance. What number is that? 14. 4 and 1 is 5. That's change. Freedom. Yeah. That's the first word that popped out. You're becoming aware of things that are trapping you in the role you play in allowing them to. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel of addictions and divorce. Damn. Reclaiming your power. First thing was freedom and, and divorce. So, but it's telling you everything is going to be fine. Take the time to heal. And don't worry about nobody else and what they're talking about. All right. The Empress. Why is this here? Okay. Yeah. You 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 got love overflowing. Okay. The Empress is Earth card, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I believe that's Taurus though. And um you have a lot of love for this Empress. Okay. The Empress can be a male or a female, you know. Reverse the roles as needed. Why is the seven of cups here? There's a lot of love there though. Why is the seven of cups here? Somebody's fantasizing about this love. Wow. Gemini energy. Why is the five of cups here? Why is the five of cups here? Four of the Pisces and their love interests. Thank you. Okay. We got a, the, the king of pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Cups and the Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's walking away from this. Let me see what that King of Pentacles is in reverse. That Taurus energy. Yeah, ugliness, perversity, all that. The Knight of Pentacles. Because the Eight of Pentacles is in transition, okay? And, and, and the Knight of Pentacles is steady and slow. It could be some years, okay? Servitude, coming commitment, job, family, stability. Hard work will pay off, seeing things to the end. Uh, reaching goals and bettering yourself. Faithful protector. Yeah. So while you're feeling guilt about this relationship, uh, whoever it is that's feeling guilt and depression about this relationship, that's not happy in this relationship, you're going to go through a transition with this eight of um, with this eight of cups, okay? From this perverse energy, from this perverse energy here, you're going to go through a transition. And come out a better person in a couple of years. That's what it's saying behind this guilt and grief of this relationship. You're going to come out a better person. Okay. That's either for you or the cross watcher. I do not know. You know your story. Yeah. You're telling you're being told to go with the flow and heal yourself with the temperance and the star. Okay. The Hermit. Why is that here? This Virgo energy. Okay, so you're you you spend someone spending time alone, and they're having some internal battles right now. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? And I think that's your person having the internal battles because they really. There's so much love here. That's what I see. The love is here. But for whatever reason, like this person may have cheated with the perversity here. And you're just like, I can't see myself with them. It's pissing you off, for lack of better words. 
Okay, you're trying to balance yourself. Okay, you because you're feeling stuck and um, unable to move forward. Uh, that's the, that's how you're feeling. While you're trying to balance yourself with the King of Cups with that Cancer energy. Wow. Either you or your person, because you are trying to put your you're trying to put the burdens down. And you're trying to think of creative ways to 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 put them down so you can move forward. And your person's thinking the same thing. You're gonna have to make a decision so that you can come up out of this energy here. That's that stressful energy, whether it's you or your other person. You know, this divorce is really is telling you everything's gonna be fine. I see the love here. The sex is great. They daydream about you guys. Fantasize about you guys, but something went wrong in the relationship. It's causing you to go through a transformation. Someone's going through a transformation right now. And someone's in their head. And it's causing a lot of stress and anxiety. So... But you're trying to get your balance. You're going to have to make a decision. To get out of here. Um, either, get, either stay in it. Work on it. Or get out. But what I'm seeing is you need to get out. This is not good. If you want to put it down. They want to put it down. They want to go on a new path. Just stop holding on to something that's not working for you. That's a waste of time. And that's something we. Yeah. You know. Two of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. And so you need to make a decision to either put the work in, <clears throat> excuse me, or put the work in or walk away. Because uh, you look at how far you've come and what, what, what you've accomplished already. You know, how was the relationship for real? You know, outside of the bedroom. How was it? How is it? You know, think of those things. Because a lot of people like to stay with people because the sex is just great. And you don't find that too often, you know. So... You, you you might be trying to think of that, but that's not going to sustain sustain a lasting relationship. It's just not. Um, three of Cups, you know, after you do that, you might be able to reunite with this person. I don't know. You might reflect on everything and decide to go and, and join a gym or, or uh, some kind of social club and enjoy yourself. Okay? The Empress, that Taurus energy. Looking good, smelling good, healing yourself with the star, that Aquarius energy. There you go again, Pisces showing up. Make a conscious decision to take the path that you know you need to go on with the Empress there. You know the truth. And more love is going to come in with that with that cup. With that uh, Knight of Cups being led by spirit. And you're going to be moved. It's, it's, it's coming towards you and you're going to be moved. Maybe when you move. I don't know. Leo strength, you, you got to be strong and pray about it. Cut off the idea that marriage with this failing relationship. I can't make it up and go on to your new beginning. I can't make this. I can't make this up. I can't. I, I ain't got no control over these cards. Cut off that idea of marriage with this individual. And, and, and this guilt that you think you're feeling. And move on to your new beginning. I, I can't make it up. I, didn't, I can't make it up. Stop being delusional. That's what that is. Stop being delusional. And be single. I can't make it up. I'm so done with y'all. Pisces. <laughs> I'm so done with y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to Scorpio Tiger Sterile. Ah... Like, share, and subscribe. Let me see how much time I done put on here. 14 minutes. Yeah, I got to see y'all later. I got to see y'all later. Good luck with this, Pisces. And you guys, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And if this isn't your reading, check out this video right here. Maybe that's your energy. I got a whole playlist of, of Pisces. Go check it out. You might find your energy over there, all right? You guys take care.